things are not going to plan with China's economy. China's stealing our technology. In Xinjiang, a whole culture is under suspicion. I would like to begin uh, by announcing some important developments in our war against the Chinese virus. So it might not seem like it, but it's the middle of the day here in Beijing. The air is so polluted that it's darkened the sky. Hundreds of thousands of people from ethnic minorities, including the Uyghur community, are being forced by the Chinese authorities to pick cotton in the far western region of Xinjiang. 这样的话,你是不是很熟悉? To be honest, I'll tell you guys the truth. When I first got here, I didn't know what to expect. But from the moment that I landed, to be fair, the customs officers and everybody was so polite to me. Like, I don't know, I don't know why. Just in my head, I was just expecting people to be mean, but everybody was so nice. Like getting into China and like getting through the visa process and all that was just such a simple process. No headaches, no nothing. And then from the moment I actually got here, even though like English isn't widely spoken, People have been extremely nice to me and they're always willing to help. I think it's right over there. Go straight and turn right. Okay. Straight and right. There is a, a several small room. Yeah, it's a clear room and you can see the staff here. Oh, oh cool. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Wow. It's really nice. It's really good English as well. This is one of the best first impressions so far of a country that we've had and it's very interesting because the general perception of China in the West I don't need to tell you it's uh, overwhelmingly negative let's put it that way from the media and from a lot of other instit institutions so this is the whole reason why we decided to come to this country because we wanted to see exactly what it's like for ourselves and we're already uh, getting on to a very positive first experience so that's very interesting basically if you download an app called wechat pay you link your bank account to this and basically it makes traveling around china way way easier you can then pay for a lot of things cashless so you just scan the QR code, you can do this for public transport, for restaurants, for food, for shops, for so many different places. And just like that, we have made it into the city. The metro was way easier than we thought it was going to be. Great job, really clean. People were actually like pretty friendly. It was a real sky, come on. To be honest, in regards to pollution, I did hear myself that China does have a lot of pollution. Now, I'm not sure if certain cities have more pollution than the other cities, but when I was in Shanghai, it didn't feel too polluted. Like, it felt like I was walking around downtown Toronto or like, I don't know, Miami, I don't know, just, it didn't feel any different. Like, I didn't have a hard time breathing, nothing was wrong. Stressful situation just now. I left my phone and my charger sitting on a bench way down there. And we we're already here at the temple and I was like, oh my gosh, I left my phone on that bench. It had been like 10 minutes. I ran down and some girl was keeping an eye on it until I came back for it. So sweet. Like, what? <laughs> also, where's my brain? I can't believe I left it there. <sighs> but so sweet. Even this one, everything's so clean. Okay, so I'm on the way to the dining car. I'm gonna try and get, I'm gonna order my own Starbucks. <laughs> this is crazy, I'm ordering a Starbucks on, the, on a train. But I'm standing here and I'm not falling over. This is the smoothest ride in a train I've ever been on. I got up on the Indian one we took, I got up on the Indonesian one, and I was like, doing that. Like here, I'm standing here normally. I'm not rocking, I'm not shaking. This feels like alien technology. Welcome Hi. to the future. 
Look at that. He is not touching anything. He's just sat there like uh, he's meditating. I think they have to sit like in the ready position yes. just in case. I guess if there was any emergencies, he'd need to be able to take the wheel quite quickly. Traffic light, traffic light. Is it going to break? It sensed it, look. And it's going to stop right, look. We're on the line. That is so funny. That is amazing. Welcome to the future. This is blowing our minds. This is so cool. 看到大量外国游客辟谣，有些人坐不住了。最近在不少社交平台上，外国人在中国不安全，千万不要去中国的评论持续涌现。美国国务院对前往中国内地旅游的警示一直维持第三级别，即要求美国公民重新考虑前往中国内地旅行。对此，有外国网友也看不下去，拍视频进行辟谣。What about if when you see American, do you think like we're good people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect, perfect. You want to be friends? You want to be our friends? Okay, good. That's great. That's what I want everybody to understand. When you come to China, this is what it's like. People are welcoming you, and this is what it's like. So thank you so much.